what is going on youtube i am back this is not a money making video this is not a military making video this is about my security plus exam and i you know what i'm going to talk about how i passed it in 30 days um as you see here i got a 772 out of seven well out of 900 but 750 is passing and i'm just going to make a quick five minute video for anybody who is scouring youtube looking at for videos like this because that's what i did and I don't remember the guy's name, but he made a video right in the car. It was a brother. He was super hype right after. So that's the inspiration. And if I can find his YouTube video, I'll tag him in the description. But anyways, real quick. Um, yeah, I needed this security exam. If You might need this uh, certification if you want to work for the government or, you know, the DOD. And, um, you know, I hear some people say you don't really need it for IT, but for anything related to working for the military, uh, Space Force, Air Force, Army, whatever, you need this exam. And a lot of people say, hey, you need to get your A plus first and your network plus, and then take this one. Well, I'll tell you right now, I didn't do any of that. I came out of the Army, well, I'm still in the Army, but I came out of basic training in AIT with my security clearance. And I took a job that I needed to take this, and they gave me six months to pass this. And um and so I just I just started so here's here's what I did and I'm hype and I don't really care all right and I'm gonna say shout out to my you know my God and uh, cause I prayed a lot before it and my family for supporting me when I was you know staying up all night and being an asshole because I'm too busy studying. Anyways, this is what I did. Uh, I got a book. Um, geez, I, I it, it was a big white book. CompTIA. Uh, get get ahead you know, or get, get certified, get ahead, whatever. Um, if I remember, I'll put it in the description, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And so what I basically did was, um, I gave myself 30 days. So it like at the end of March, beginning of April, I said, you know what, I'm just going to pick a date. Cause that's what somebody on YouTube said. I just picked the date. Then even crack the book open yet. I picked a date and I said, I'll give myself 30 days. And I paid for the exam or, you know, the voucher, whatever. And then I said, all right, bet. So I got it scheduled. So that kind of puts like a little fire under my ass, you know, like, yo, I gotta go, I gotta go and uh, start studying now. So this particular book had three um, practice practice exams. And so I, it's got three, no, no, I'm lying. It's got a, um, a pre-test, it's got the chapter quizzes and then a post-test. So I did the pre-test, failed it but kind of read what I learned and I did cue cards. Where are my cue cards? I got them here because I was studying before the test. So anything I got wrong, port scanner. What's a port scanner? Identifies open ports on a system, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. And then I did, after reviewing the wrong answers, I tried the post test and I still didn't do very well and I got more cue cards. And so while I'm doing that, somebody in my job said, yo, you should check out Professor Messer. So I did that. Um, I watched all his videos, pro tip, um, you can actually record, you can actually fast forward um, the videos on YouTube. So I didn't get that until I was like three quarters of the way through. But you don't have to go like double speed. You can do even 25% faster. And instead of talking like this, he's talking like this. And if you can process what he's saying at that speed, then you'll get through the videos way faster. So that's a pro tip. So anyways, I did Prof Professor Messer's... Um, all his videos and then i ordered his it was like 40 bucks i got his three practice tests and the course notes which to be honest i didn't even really use the course notes i did the practice exams um and really i only started doing those last week so i gave myself like weekly chunks it took me like three weeks to watch all the videos maybe like two and a half weeks and then uh, the second half of that third week i um i started taking the the, the practice tests and his tests are cool because you know, it gives you the, the question and then it'll tell you why, you you know. So even the ones that I got right, I looked at the answers and said, okay, this is not right because of this. This is not right. So it's like, I'm trying to think of a random example, but I don't know what uh, a purple team is. So it's asking, it, the question is, is it red, blue, white, or purple? And I knew that the right answer was red, but I didn't know what the purple answer was. So I looked in the answers and it says, oh, a purple is a combination of red and blue. Boom, so I knew that now. So I did his three practice exams, and then I actually went through that book again, and I went through the individual 
the individual um, chapters. So, and that's cool because like I sucked at ports. I didn't know any of my ports and I kind of knew my vulnerabilities. So I didn't spend so much time reviewing the wrong. I mean, I briefly, I looked at everything, but I didn't spend so much time on the test that I got 80, 90% on, right? I got, you know, 14 out of 15, right? I'm not really gonna go crazy looking at even the correct answers. But the port security, maybe I got 12 out of 15 and maybe I guessed on a couple of them. So I still went in and looked at why it was right, why it was wrong, did a little blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I did, man. Um, and then and then the last pro tip would be to look at the course objectives or you know the uh, certification objectives, test ob objectives, whatever. You just Google CompTIA Sec Plus objectives and it'll give you like a 20 page PDF and you can go through and see one, you know, chapter one, chapter two, what all is gonna be on the test. And vulnerabilities is like 25%, whereas the governing, you know, policies are like, you know, 15 or 16%, I don't even remember, but. I did it, y'all, I'm super excited. I'm trying to see if I could just give you any more pro tips. Yo, to be honest with you, and this is maybe just giving you a little bit of hope, to be perfectly honest with you, the test was not even that hard. Like, it it was hard, but like in my mind it was gonna be so much harder. So I like kind of over prepared for it. I, I didn't even over prepare, like I studied. I studied hard and I really tried to get the information. I took like a week off from work just to really stay home and study. And, and it worked out because I was studying like a lot more, like I thought that was gonna be so confusing and so tricky. And the exam questions were very straightforward. And maybe your test will be different, but that was my experience. I only had 76 questions. The performance-based questions, I'm pretty sure I, I got most of them wrong, but a couple of them I, I think I got all right. Um, the port stuff, like port 80, TCP, um, the different protocols was my weak area, but I crash studied that before. But um, but yo, you can do it. Just and and I guess this is the advice I got from a lot of people, so I'm gonna just regurgitate it. But don't just do one, right? Like I think you need at least two. Two is the magic number. So maybe you want to do the CompTIA practice test. That's fine. But also do something else. Maybe it's not Professor Messer. Maybe it's somebody else. But do two. If you're maybe you're gonna get a different book do all the practice tests and studying in that book, but also do a second one too. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I what I got. My advice would definitely be to book the test. And remember, you can book the test and let's say a week before or a couple days before you're like, yo, I really don't know any of this still. You can reschedule the test. But if you're highly motivated and if you're like a procrastinator like me, I would just book the test. That's all I got. One more time, I got my Sec Plus in 30 days. Shout out to Professor Messer. Um, oh yeah, and you know, he has podcasts too, which are super long and drawn out. Like, I just wanna hear questions. And he does so much talking, so much, exp like it's fun and I guess and interesting, but like you can fast forward his podcast and really just get to the meat and potatoes. And he asks practice, qu he asks practice questions. And um, and then he does that on YouTube too. Like you can do Sec Plus Six Hundred One uh, Study Group, and it'll be like three hour long video. But in there, he will ask practice questions. So I did that on my way to work for those thirty days. Like I'll just listen and fast forward through. And maybe honestly, out of my hour drive to work or like forty five minute drive to work, he probably only hit on like five or six questions out of all the talking. But out of those five or six questions, he really breaks it down. So like when that question came on the test. I knew it because I heard it on my way to work. You know what I mean? There was a lot of different pieces that, that you know, the book, his videos, his practice test, the podcast, um, the cue cards, you know what I mean? Like I would give my, I have all these written down. I would be like, baby, I would say to my wife, give me five or give me six, you know, make it random, give me seven, you know? And she'll just pull out random cards and then she'll be like, all right, protocol analyzer. And I'll be like, uh, and I'll, you know, whatever, try to regurgitate it. But anyways, that's all I got. Quick video. Thank you all for watching. And I hope that I can give somebody a little bit of hope and say it's not that hard. Uh, you do not need your Network Plus or your A Plus. And like, I guess being a 90s baby, I was a little technical, technically savvy, you know, but, but not really. It's not like I have a big IT background. So don't think, oh, I bypassed the A Plus because I knew already, I really didn't know much. You know what I mean? So 
get the objectives, get some books, watch some videos, watch videos like these so you can be motivated and know that it's possible. And if I can do it, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I got, y'all. I'll catch you on the next one.